This chapter will introduce students to the fundamental concepts and terminology of computer programming and software development. The chapter assumes no programming background and provides an overview of the software development process in addition to introducing important programming practices and methodologies. You will be introduced with the different programming languages as well as the different generations of programming languages. Upon completion of this session, you will be able to identify the programming process, identify the different generations of programming languages, and also the importance of documentation and maintenance. Definition of a program A program is a set of step-by-step -step instructions that directs the computer to do the tasks you want it to do and produce the results you want. A program also refers to an organized list of instructions that, when executed, causes the computer to behave in a predetermined manner. A set of rules that provides a way of telling a computer what operations to perform is called a programming language. Specific tasks are being performed according to a set of instructions you have set. There is not, however, just one programming language. There are many different types of programs are Word processing, which is used to create documents and letters. Spreadsheet, which can be used to analyze data and also for accounting purposes. What is programming? Programming is the art of making a computer do what you want it to do. It makes a computer behave in a predetermined way according to your instructions. At the very simplest level, it consists of issuing a sequence of commands to a computer to achieve an objective. Programming is a creative process done by programmers to instruct a computer on how to do a task. The programmer's job will convert problem solutions into instructions for the computer. That is, the programmer prepares the instructions of a computer program and runs those instructions on the computer, tests the program to see if it is working properly and makes corrections to the program. Finally, he will also write a report on the program. Program in process. Developing a program involves steps similar to any problem-solving task. The program in process is a framework describing required activities for an operational process that can be used to develop system or application software. The program in process, also known as software development, consists of six main steps which are as follows. Program specification. It is where the program's objectives, outputs, inputs, and processing requirements are determined. It is the task of precisely describing the software to be written. Program design is where a solution is created using programming techniques such as Soto code and flowcharts. This phase will design and document methods and procedures in software. Program code is where the program is written or coded using a particular programming language chosen by software engineers. Program test. This is an integral and important part of the program in process because this part of the process ensures that bugs are recognized as early as possible. The program is tested or debugged by looking for syntax and logic errors. Program documentation. Documentation is an ongoing process throughout the programming process. This phase focuses on formalizing the writing description and processes used in the program. Program maintenance. Here, at this stage, completed programs are periodically reviewed to evaluate their accuracy, efficiency, standardization, and ease of use. Changes are made to the program's code as and when needed. The maintenance stage will enhance the software to cope with newly discovered problems. As you can see, the process is well illustrated on the figure. It starts by analyzing the user requirements, and this has been described in the program specification phase. Then, it will design the program using techniques such as Soto code and flowcharts, following by the coding of the program. However, documenting and testing of the program are done more or less at the same time. Finally, the operation and maintenance phase is done as it will adjust for errors inefficient 
or ineffective operations, non-standard code, and changes over time. Case Tool Computer-aided software engineering tool is the application of a set of automated tools and methods to a software, which results in high-quality, defect-free, and maintainable software products. Professional programmers are constantly looking for ways to make their work easier, faster, and more reliable. They want to produce a robust, scalable, and maintainable software system that meets end-user requirements. Many such tools are being developed and used in the software industry. Such tools include computer-aided software engineering, case tools which provide some automation and assistance in program design, coding, and testing. It automates methods for designing, documenting, and producing structured computer code in the desired programming language. Object-Oriented Software Development Object-Oriented Programming OOP, is a process by which a program is organized into objects. Each object contains both data and processing operations necessary to perform a task. Traditional systems development is a careful step-by-step -step approach focusing on the procedures needed to complete a certain objective. Object-oriented software development focuses less on the procedures and more on defining the relationships between previously defined procedures or objects. It can manage the complexity of the development process in a better way and the workflow model. As a result, the final process description is more transparent and easier to modify or customize. Programming Languages Programming language is a machine-readable artificial language designed to express computations that can be performed by a machine, particularly a computer. Programming languages can be used to create programs that specify the behavior of a machine to express algorithms precisely or as a mode of human communication. There are several programming languages in common use today. Programming languages are classified in terms of levels or generations, ranging from low to high. They are called lower level when they are closer to the language the computer itself uses. The computer understands the zeros and ones that make up bits and bytes. Programming languages are called higher level when they are closer to the language humans use, that is, for English speakers, more like English. There are five levels of language numbered 1 through 5 to correspond to levels or generations. In terms of ease of use and capabilities, each generation is an improvement over its predecessors. Machine language, assembly language, procedural language, problem-oriented language, and natural language. We will elaborate more on each of the generations of language in the next section. Machine 